<laughs> what are you doing? I feel something under the dirt. So those must be your roots, taking in the water and food from what you call dirt. You need to be aware of your entire body because all parts are important in doing different things. Let's take a look. Plant parts do different things for the plant. Roots Roots act like straws absorbing water and minerals from the soil. Roots help to anchor the plant in the soil so it does not fall over. There are a wide variety of roots present in the world out of which the following three are the most common ones. Taproot are large and fleshy in appearance. Grow deep into the ground to search for food. Are able to store food which is particularly necessary for perennial plants during periods of dormancy. Fibrous root Lie close to the surface of the soil. Collect precipitation before it sinks deep into the ground. Can often be found growing side by side with tap roots. Adventitious roots These roots develop to help the plant climb. For example, ivies. Roots also store extra food for future use. Stems Stems do many things. They support the plant. They act like the plant's plumbing system, conducting water and nutrients from the roots and food in the form of glucose from the leaves to other plant parts. Stems can be herbaceous like the bendable stem of a daisy or woody like the trunk of an oak tree. The plants whose stems provide water to the plant are called vascular plants and the veins that help in this process together are called vascular bundles. The other plants that depend on the moisture around to do the job are called non-vascular plants. If we look at a cross section of a stem, we can clearly see the different parts of it, which include epidermis, that is the outer layer of the stem. Phloem vessels Tubes that carry sap Cambium New parts of the stem Cork Which is the protective covering of the stem Pith It's the central part of the stem And xylem vessels Which is the woody part of the stem. Leaves Most plants' food is made in their leaves. Leaves are designed to capture sunlight which the plant uses to make food through a process called photosynthesis. Flowers Flowers are the reproductive part of most plants. Flowers contain pollen and tiny eggs called ovules. Flowers contain stamen, anther, stigma, pistil, petal, sepal, 
After pollination of the flower and fertilization of the ovule, the ovule develops into a fruit. We will talk about this in detail later. Fruit provides a covering for seeds. Fruits can be fleshy like an apple or hard like a nut. Seeds Seeds contain new plants. Seeds form in fruits.